I had to stop the presses and do an open tunes quick tip because this is huge. Um, when you do frame by frame animation, uh, the you get you get this you get animation that moves like this jump 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 well if you play this this back at full speed you'll see that at 24 frames per second it's really really smooth and that's because when I set the different keyframes on the bone tool the default interpolation which means how open tunes goes from position one which is here to position two which is here can be linear there's like easing um, for simplicity of discussion the interpolation is smooth okay it smoothly goes from position A to position B well for the work that I've been doing like I almost never want that okay so I want the benefit of being able to use the plastic tool and the animate tool uh, to put a little more movement in my characters but I almost never want that movement to be smooth like this I want it to jump from key to key and if I want a smoother movement I, I want the option to insert my own extra keys so one thing that's always bothered me is when I look in the preferences and you go to animation the default interpolation is a constant interpolation which means you don't move until you get to the key to the frame where the the key was set nothing changes and then all of a sudden it snaps so everything's I, I think you get it well all you've got is linear speed in speed out ease in ease out and it's bugged me that why don't they have constant as a uh, you know potential default and the reason is because you don't need it it turns out <laughs> and this is what always happens with open tunes is <laughs> I always find out what I wanted to do I can do I just didn't know how well I want to give a big shout out to this guy <clears throat> Rodney this guy's pretty active on the Google group and Discord and whatnot. Um, and he he nailed it right here. The fastest way to gain constant interpolation is to set the step value really high in your preferences. Could it really be that simple? Yes, it is. What I did was I set the animation step to 24. Now, you could set it to any high number. But what that means is that if there, if there that means that the granularity that OpenTunes is interpolating through is a higher number, which means that if there's less than 24 frames between changes, there's not going to be any smoothness of interpolation. It's going to only, uh, it's going to divide by the number of frames in that step, which by default is one. So if you open up your preferences, you're probably going to find out it's set to one. Well, if you set it to a higher number, Let's, let's look at what happens. I'm going to go ahead and delete all these keyframes. Just delete everything. Okay. So bear with me for half a second while I delete keyframes. Okay. All right. So now that I've changed in my preferences, again, it's File, Preferences, Animation, Animation Steps. Okay. So now I'm going to pull up the, an the uh, plastic tool. <clears throat> so I can animate some stuff and I'm gonna get her head in the right position and I'm actually gonna start with animating her body so let's go ahead and do something like this that makes her look a little more coy and let's say by frame 13 um, she's pulled back a little bit and then in between let's say there's a kind of an, an indignant rising of the head okay and then at this point she leans forward to really let the guy have it and then I'm just using the plastic tool to stretch that out so it doesn't so that it uh, does in fact bleed off the page well look what happens okay now we have a glitch okay and I know why this is this is because um, I, I have to start from total scratch honestly boom okay yeah because I didn't start from total scratch and I'm using the old project the the interpolation was still in there so let's just do it again real quick all right so here we have her moving back we'll just stretch that a bit nice and coy 
Now here, we'll go ahead and introduce that change. And then again here, leaning forward to let the guy have it. Let's see if that worked. Yeah. So now when I hit it, I get obvious. It's obvious what I get. I get a, what amounts to constant interpolation. And now I can go back here to her head. And let's go ahead and hit the plastic tool. And I need to use the animate tool as well to uh, position this properly. Okay, and now back to the plastic tool. And let's just kind of do the same thing. And now I'm going to move this as if there was some lip sync going on. Okay, so I'm moving her jaw. And <clears throat> it should look like a cartoon. So I'm going to turn the plastic tool off and see what happens. Ta-da! Okay, so now this is all happening in kind of a, a condensed time frame. So let's just set the, the frame rate to 12 so it's a little more realistic. But now we have what we wanted, which is cartoon style animation, not so smooth. Smooth is great when you want it, but what a, what a ridiculously easy way to solve that problem. So if you want constant interpolation as the default, remember, go to preferences, animation, and just set the animation step really high. That'll do for now.